And welcome along once again to Thurrigan Overland. Today we are we are actually going to be starting off with doing uh, quite a few bits of cleaning up. Uh, our chickens need some work uh, and we actually need to clean our tractors. I mean, look at the state of our doits. Having, uh, having been doing some work, having been doing its seeding, and uh, our cow edition, uh, Voltra and series of that, having been doing its seed, uh, been working. Uh, they are both pretty mucky, and our combine is definitely mucky, you know, mucky and already over at our uh, our area. Um, none of our equipment particularly needs a clean up, uh, sorry, a, um, any repairs yet, but uh, yeah. We, we, we basically just need to do some clean up ready for the next go on things, so uh, maybe a fairly short episode. We've got a good set of eggs coming, you can see the eggs there. Uh, we do need to go and pick up an, uh, a couple of egg pallets, so we might go and do that as well. Uh, but, first job we need to do today is this. We need to clean up our chickens. Uh, they've got quite a messy feeding area. Uh, but I think it's... Oh, it's not quite all going to fit in our bucket. There we go. Uh, we're also going to... Oh, wow. I think they might actually be full. Let's have a look at our chickens. Uh, no, they they need, they have space, so that's interesting. So that doesn't seem to have gone into there. And I think if I tip here, you know, that must be going into their feet. So the trick on this map seems to be don't tip uh, onto their feed trough because their feed trough, it appears, is. Um, is uh, is not the point at which uh, you can unload it. It needs to be in this area here. But that is all done. So uh, that's our chickens being fed. That did not take very long at all. Uh, and they are doing well at the moment, as I showed. Uh, their cleanliness, we've now sorted their cleanliness up. Uh, they're, they're quite full with food. Uh, and yeah, and they're all very happy. Their productivity at the moment uh, we're getting a new brown chicken every uh, seven hours. We're getting a new white chicken every ten hours, and we're getting a new black chicken every four hours. So that's good. Uh, I think we might be full. Though. I think I think this might be a full thing of chickens. So we could actually do if we're getting that many that quickly. We could actually probably do with selling a couple. I'm going to sell um, to make space at the moment. I think I'm going to sell some of the black chickens. Because we have a lot of them. So let's get a little bit of money in and uh, let's. They're at 20, they're at 25. But we know we're gonna replace the black ones quite quickly. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of seven black chickens. So uh sell that and that one. Sell that two Three, four, five, six, and one more black chicken. There we go. Seven. Confirm. There we go. So 175 uh, for selling those. So that should now mean there were 50 black chickens, 25 white, and 35 brown. So 35 brown. Uh, actually, we uh, we could take down a little bit more. This uh, this coop here is uh, it's a large coop, so we should be all right anyway. Actually, but I want to kind of even the numbers out. We can make a little bit of money by doing that as well. Uh, so next, we're going to come around here. Uh, what we want to do is this is a cleaning area for our combine or for for our vehicles and equipment. Uh, we've got seventeen thousand. I want to buy a pressure washer so we can clean our combine. So let's get that. And uh, under miscellaneous is where our pressure washer is. So let's zoom right in. Now we want to get as close as we can. We can't put it there because our combine is there. In fact, we can't really put it anywhere inside the cleaning area, but we can put it just outside. So that is the plan. We're going to face it so that our ones are into the cleaning area. We're going to put it as close into it as we can. So 
there. Right at the corner of it. And there we go. So, uh, yeah, we'll be able to clean our combine from here. So, uh, let's get to it. Right, so... Shaping up rather nicely, that is. Uh, cleans up... Uh, We'll clean up well, help us uh, keep things going well. We can then put the combine away because we've got no, we're not going to be using this to actually harvest for a little while. Oh, yeah, you see, it reached just to the edge there. But that's good. We can just uh, have stuff to this side of the. Uh, to this side of it. You could put it in the middle here, but it would be. Uh, yeah, I think it's a bit more realistic to have the side. So, yeah, you can reach. You can reach most of what you have in here, but you're probably going to want to wash on this side if you do this setup. Right, let's go get our combine parked up. So we need somewhere easy to access our header trailer, and we do have somewhere absolutely perfect for that. Where we should be able to get this through. And that is basically next to where we stacked our... Uh, stacked our bales last time. Now I need to make sure that I'm very careful getting it here. That probably would have been wiser to have come from the other way. But I think we should be okay sort of doing a 93 turn into here. The trailer fortunately has rear steering. And as you can see we can just pull our head the trailer under here and attach it. And uh, that's fantastic. That's then under the cover. And then we just need to go and put our combine into the shed. Uh, I'm actually going to put it, we're not going to put it in this shed. We're going to try and fit it. Uh, I should actually fit it in this shed. Shows how much. We haven't actually used this combine since I got the shovel drop. So, I, I, that's the roof crop storage. So, we're going to put it in here for now. It will be in the way of, uh, of us getting our bale spike out. I'm not sure we can get it very far back. So I need to go and have a look at the other sheds and, and work out if there is a shed that's better fit. But you can see that that is sticking out a little bit. Right, next we can go and wash our uh, bolt trap. So there we go. We'll just get this into the shed. So, get up over here. Give it a quick wash down. Our front loader is uh, is not too bad, but the actual uh, the actual tractor needs a good wash. And, uh, to return its nice uh, black and white paint job. It's, uh, it's a really good, really, really, really something special. This tractor. And oh wait, we are going to go and have to pick up another weight as well. So we kind of need some, um, we need an edge box pallet. We need some front forks actually. And we uh, and we need another weight. Because while this, this weight actually is fantastic for this tractor, we do need another one for the front of the uh, For when that's doing various bits. Uh, we're also going to need a little bit more money because we currently have... Uh, we currently don't have a plough, but I think we're all right. I think our culture, our uh, basically our uh, our cedar is, uh, is is direct cedar, so we're pretty much okay for most of the work we do. Which is uh, part of the reason why we're, we're just going to park this in the workshop for a bit. There we go. Right, and just our doits to do. So we do have various sheds and things around here. The must I must have one big enough for our Lexian. Uh, but it's uh, yeah. This is the thing. It's a it's a very much a downtime at the moment on the farm. We are going to need to uh, spray our field. That is one thing we don't have at the moment is a sprayer. Uh, we do only have twelve thousand. So I'm trying. Uh, I'm very much trying to find a mission we can do. Or a contract we can do. We may go and do some harvesting next time, actually. See so if we can take our combine. Because our combine being fairly big. 
we can go and do a harvesting, uh, a fairly big harvesting contract with, uh, with little issue uh, with both the Deutz and the, uh, and the Combine and our, uh, and our class. So those would work well for that. And take those out for that. There we go. So that's that worked out rather nicely as well. So I think what we're going to do is, uh, is we're going to head off uh, in our little uh, vault truck. And I think we might take our uh, trailer with us. Because uh, while that trailer's hired, while our bale trailer is hired, it's not an expensive thing to use. Uh, and we'll go up to shop. We're going to pick up a weight. And, uh, and we might pick up a couple of egg pallets. Now, the egg pallets are really cool. Uh, which is why I've got them on here. Which is why I want to go and do those today. Just want to get ourselves in a position where we're ready. Uh, so I'm going to put this outside this shed at the moment. Normally, uh, I'd put it inside the shed. Uh, we want to leave the weight here as well. So put that on the other side. We have a lot of weight. Oops. We have a lot of weight on the back of this anyway. Because we have the weight of the tyres. Or the weight of the wheel weights on. Right, and to take our flatbed head up to the shop. So yeah, it is a lot of sort of um, fiddling about and doing stuff today. Trying to get things together. This tractor we should be able to put uh, the narrow tires on as well. So if we can get a uh, if we can get a decent sprayer, uh, we should be able to do that. But it really is a case of at the moment we need money to do that. We're, uh, we're down to sort of 13,000. Uh, even selling the bales last time helped us, but didn't, uh, didn't get us exactly where we wanted. So, let's, uh, ooh, let's head up to the shop. And, uh, and once we're up there, we will get ourselves a couple of egg pallets, uh, a new set of forks, and a new weight. Okay, we're up at the shop and just pulling in. So I'll just pull the tractor over here and pop over there. So yeah, these are these are things that are going to help us along a bit and uh, and are going to just sort of keep us ticking over. I'm hoping it's not going to be too an expensive a set of purchases. Uh, so pallets wise, we should have here we go. So we've got egg pallets reusable and egg pallets single use. Uh, for the sake of 25, uh, I'm going to get two of these. It'll cost us 100, uh, but they will both be very useful. And of course, they're reusable, so that's great. Uh, in our For our front loader, we want to uh, get a set of forks. We don't have any other kind, so uh, we'll get the stole. Uh, and we will get them in black to match the rest of our tractor. And then the last thing we need is a weight. Uh, and I think what we want to get here is probably... So that's the one we've got. We want to get something a little less heavy. We don't need quite as much weight. I would say a uh, either a uh, one ki uh, 100 kilogram or a 700 kilogram weight would be good. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the mid size weight the 100. Um, now can I get it in the Deutzfar green? Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna in that uh, because it is for our Deutz mainly. Although it's gonna look a little bit odd on this tractor driving it back. So that's cost us 2,000. So that hasn't actually been too bad. Uh, that could have been a lot worse than it actually is. Now we just need to get these pallets loaded up uh, and we can head back. So, uh, drop off our trailer and we will hook up the weight and the pallet forks. There we are. There's a little bit more of a, a, a 
straight video than uh, than I've done recently. I think it's going to be uh, very much more. Uh, you see most of what I'm doing. Uh, obviously, as normal, I will be uh, editing down the actual transport between here and the main farm because it is kind of, it is quite a long drive between the shop and the main farm on this map, uh, which is nice. I, I like that there's some distance and there's some feeling of distance, uh, but it is uh, yeah, it's quite a long, long trek. There we go. Now, interestingly, these uh, these look full, but I think you, ba you basically just take your eggs over to them. At least that's what I'm hoping you do. Uh, we shall see. Uh, but they do they do look a little bit uh, suspect in that they already have a whole load of egg boxes. In them. But I'm, I am guessing that basically you transfer your eggs. Into it would be really cool if you took your egg boxes over to them and uh, and they filled. But by the looks of things, they don't do that. Right, let's have here a little bit. Not going to correct that, so uh, we will approach our trailer at a little bit of an angle as well to try and get these on the straight. Hopefully, come off. Yeah, I just sort of slipped. Sort of slipped underneath. It's probably okay. Getting things on as straight as possible. There we go. Right, that will do. Right, we want to leave those like that anyway. For all the good things about doing work mainly on the road today, the, uh, the cleaning that we've done, the pressure washing we've done of our tractors, uh, they're not going to get dirty again. Flash light on, those two are strapped down. And with our full convoy done, uh, I think we can get out of the shop this way. Let's head, yeah we can. Let's head back out and uh, and head back to the farm. Yeah, no traffic on this road thankfully. This is quite a long trailer. Uh, but to me, it strikes it, it strikes me as a, a trailer that, that would be used on a European map like this, or a European location like this, I should say. Um, I did eventually clean up, in case you're wondering, I did eventually clean up all the bales from our sale down there, and sold a few more, which is why we started this uh, this video at 20,000. I don't know if I can borrow more money, actually. We might be able to borrow money for a sprayer. Uh, if that's the case, we may be heading back up to the shop this time because I do need to get a sprayer. I do need to get uh, I do need to get one that I can uh, that I can do our field with. Uh, of course, at the moment we don't have one. Right, anyway, let's get these boxes back to the farm and see if we can use them. See if we can actually get them to fill up with some eggs. So I will see you back down there in a moment. Back in the main yard, and we are heading round to the uh, round to the chickens at the moment. We're going to unload the two pallets, uh, keep them a little bit away from the chickens. Maybe put them on the other side uh, over here, uh, so that we can easily fill them. I just need to get them to a place where I can easily unload them, but that should be there. So, oh, make sure I detach the right one. There we go. Right, and line ourselves up. Undo the straps on both of these. There we are. We should be able to unload these fairly easily from here. Uh, we are doing it a bit down on the slope. I do prefer, do tend to prefer to try and unload stuff on even flat surfaces. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure this is this is going to let me. 
let's have a look. Oh wow, that would that would go very very wrong. There we are. So, a little bit. There we go. So there's the first one. I'm going to try and put these just at the corner here, so that it's nice and easy for us to a good a good place for us to uh, load them up. But at the same time, a good place for us to. Uh, they're well away from the actual pay pops themselves. And these big reusable ones should be really useful to us. I don't quite know how we tell how full they are. Uh, they should take quite a few egg boxes. Though. sure how you tell how full these are. At the moment it's uh, it's obviously telling me uh, because they're on the forks. But uh, beyond that, what have I actually got them here? I'm not sure. Maybe if I approach them it will tell me. Because you can't I'm not sure you can tell with the egg boxes themselves. But we'll go and have a look and see if uh, if approaching them will tell us this. No. Okay. So, I don't know which of these egg boxes is full. I'm judging that if I take this one. Oh, brilliant. So that is how easy it is for us to uh, to do the egg boxes here. Whoa, let's not drop the eggs. Oh, they have all sorts of smashed eggs doing that. There we go. Yeah, I can't tell how full they are, um, but that's two. It takes it takes a lot, and I am I am making the presumption that the furthest out egg box uh, is the one that is uh, that is currently being filled. So I'm going to leave that one where it is. If I go anywhere near this tractor, it should tell me how full this is. If anybody does know how to tell how full I mean, uh, something like that is. So that's 25% full. So that's pretty good. Uh, that is five egg boxes. So, uh, yeah. 25% uh, full. That is going to take 20 egg boxes. Uh, which is great. That's going to take a little while for those to fill. So, uh, yeah. All that remains really is to get this back to our uh, shed and maybe see if we can find somewhere else to put the combine. That would be useful. There must be somewhere. Uh, we want to start looking at the cows in the not too distant future and as I said next time I think what we'll look at is the possibility of getting uh, the possibility of getting something to do the uh, spraying uh, because we do need to do that Field 2, I'm really hoping Field 2 is going to come up with a contract. Let's, uh, let's have a look at that at the moment. See if it's listed. Because Field 2 would be a great contract for us. But, yes, it has. There we go. So I'm going to accept the contract for Field 2 as well. Uh, we will attack that next time. Uh, it's only 2,000... Uh, sorry, 3,247. But, uh, yeah, it will be a great little contract for us. Uh, field 2 is right next to us, uh, right next to our first field, so uh, yeah, really good contract for us to grab while it's available. Just pull our bale trailer into here. This, uh, this is pretty much our machinery shed. Uh, I think that will change once we start getting, uh, uh, once we get some more bales in, because we're going to need some, uh, we're going to need um, uh, hay bales. Right, so last thing is what shed can we put our combine in? I'll put it in there. We might be able to, I might be able to get it down there, but we certainly need to get it out of here. Right? 
that because where it is at the moment is of no use to it at all. It's sort of just poking out and I want to put this tractor back in here. So let's take it down the yard. We do have sheds down here. We've got, pl Ooh, we've got plenty of space. Maybe, just maybe, it will fit in the shed. The shed here. Yep, there we go. Perfect fit for our combine. So uh, we'll store this here. And it's not too far from its header then. And that fits in perfectly. Uh, and then we can head up and we can just park up our, uh, our Ultra here. Uh, we do need to, at some point, switch weights. Uh, so that the Deutz gets this nice green weight that we've, uh, that we've got for it. Right, we should be able to do that now, I think. Just put this weight out the front. Selected, and then just spin round on this heavy weight that we've got. We can put that on the back of our culture. There we are. No, that's not. I do like the look of this vulture. This vulture does look absolutely fantastic. Right, so there we go. We will be able to fit another tractor in here when we eventually do go and get a third tractor because we'll need a third tractor to uh, to work the farm properly. Uh, that will be good. Uh, so right, so next time, uh, the two jobs we need to do is we need to get a harvest running. So we're going to get that started on field two. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll go and see if we can sort ourselves out a sprayer. Uh, but for now, uh, I think I'm going to leave this here. So uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.